Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Ubuntu 23.04 and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for Ubuntu. Click on the first link and then download the Ubuntu 23.04 desktop version. Download the new installer version and once you have downloaded the Ubuntu ISO file go to the next tab and search for Rufus click on the first link and download the latest version of Rufus so once both files are downloaded close your browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 4 GB or more and after that go to your downloads directory and open Rufus so after that you need to select the ISO file which we downloaded and for the partition scheme go to your windows search and search for system information and check your BIOS mode if you have a UEFI mode you need to select GPT and if you have a legacy mode then you need to select MBR and after that you can just press start and it will start making the bootable USB of Ubuntu process is going to take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part So once this process is complete you need to close Rufus and right click on your start menu and open disk management. Select the local disk with largest volume and then right click on it and select shrink volume. Now allocate your desired free space for Ubuntu. I recommend giving at least 30 GB and after that close disk management and now reboot your computer and press your boot menu key while your computer is showing your motherboard logo for example mine is escape key but yours might be f12 key and once the boot menu is open you need to select the USB option to boot into live USB of Ubuntu So finally we have booted into live USB of Ubuntu 23.04 and this version of Ubuntu has this new installer which you can see. So first you need to choose your desired language and your keyboard layout and after that you can try Ubuntu if you want to make sure everything works but I'm just going to check install Ubuntu and after that it is a good idea to connect to internet. After that you can choose either normal or minimal installation. So for the sake of this video I'm going to choose minimal installation and you also need to check these two options which says install third party software and download and install support for additional formats. And after that you were presented with two options. So you need to select manual partitioning here. Now it will ask us to partition our drives. So just click on the free space which we created on Windows. Select the free space and click this plus icon. Now use this partition as ext4 and mount point as forward slash which is root partition and click on OK. Now it will automatically mount your EFI partition as uh, slash boot slash EFI. But if you have a old system like legacy system then it will automatically install the bootloader in your system partition so you don't need to worry choose your desired theme and after that the installation process will begin and this process may take some time so I'm going to also cut this part as well so the installation is completed now you can click restart now 
and after clicking the restart now it will ask us to remove our pen drive and press enter so just do what it says and it will automatically boot into the Ubuntu Grub which shows the dual boot menu to choose our operating system so but if it does not then you need to go into BIOS menu and set the boot priority of Ubuntu to the top and after doing that every time you start your computer you will see a grub menu to choose between operating system as you can see so you have to many options first option to boot into ubuntu and the option to boot into windows as well so i'm going to choose ubuntu so we have successfully installed and booted into ubuntu 23.04 now let's try to reboot into windows to check if our windows is working or not So as you can see I am also able to boot into windows without any problems. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.